Pastor David, Sean Kenny here again. Got another video for you today. Today's video is Edge Weapon Reverse Grip. To another level. Guys, if a man pulls out an edge weapon on you and he has that edge weapon, give me the hard weapon, Kenny. If he has that edge weapon on you, he pulls that edge weapon and he has a reverse grip, what is the first thought that comes into your head? You see, you martial arts guys, you, you got a lot of fantasy in your head. You got a lot of crap in your head, okay? I'm keeping it real now. The man pulls out this weapon, he stands in front of you and he's, and he's like this. Yo, man, yo, say it, say it again, say it again, because all he's going to do is, whoo, hack at you, okay? What do you do? I'm using a phone for safety, but what do you do when it's like this? You put your hand up, boom, in your hands. The guy's right-handed, he's telling you, he's warning you, he's, he, he's coming at you like this. What are you going to do? Do you know what to do? What's the first thought that comes to your head? I promise you, you start thinking, I was asking Kenny. Kenny, what was the first thought that came to your head? Because we train. My, my first thought is I want to, first of all, get off the line of fire of that weapon. And second of all, attack what's holding it, not the blade. See? Now, nah. that's a good thing. But your train of thought should be which way am I going to move? Does it make a difference? I'm going to show you right now. If I'm coming down with this strike, if it's this leg forward or this leg forward, it doesn't matter right now. If Kenny moves backwards, I can keep coming at him. You heard us say many a times, I can move faster forward than the man can move backwards. Guys, you got to identify, if the guy is right-handed and he's coming like this, guys, moving back is out of the question. So let's try moving to the right, okay? So now, when he's here, you're going to move to your right because you're right-handed. Most people are right-handed. He has it in his right hand, so you're going to move to your right. And the guy's just going to turn with you. Slow motion. So as... He comes down, you're turning. He's still looking right at you. He's going to turn right with you and keep cutting. Guys, let me tell you something. Pay attention, man. I'm trying to teach you something. Okay? Because this is regardless of what belt you wear. I don't care if you're a white or white belt or a black belt can dawn. I know you don't know this. I know it's not the first thing you thought of. You move to your left. I don't give a damn what technique you have of blocking, of trapping, of redirecting. Move to your left. Why? Because, Kenny, put your hands up. If he moves to his left, okay? It forces me, it forces me to look to my right. I want to get this blade in him as soon as possible. So when I did this and he moved, my eyes see that man somehow evading me. I'm just going to rake to the rake this way to the backside. The man is not is not going to do this. Move to your left. The man, watch me, watch me. The man is not going to readjust and come back again from the front. Things happen too quickly. Everything is happening fast. So he's gonna swing down fast, you're gonna move to your left fast, and he's gonna swing on a backwards motion. Why is that so important? Because, why is it so important? Because when I move to my left and he swings with that backward motion, I don't have to have be no fancy 20 degree black belt. If it's winter time, 
or the man has a hoodie or a jacket or a coat, I just grab onto that thing. He might try to rape my arm, but the second I grab onto that thing, this is what's called two dead hands. He's not going to punch me. You know why he's not going to punch me? Because he's not going to have his balance. The second I touch this hand, I'm going to blow that kneecap or shin outwards. He's going to fall to the ground. I have possession of the arm that's trying to rape me, and I'm going to stomp him out. I'm going to stomp him out. Don't take my word for it. If you do this drill, make sure the person you're working with got shin guards. And try it with power. Try it with power. Move to the left, swing, and blam! Try it. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. When your hands touch his hands, boom, here, your hand touch his hands, what? Drink, bash that leg out. He's not going to be there. See, some of you guys, because you're full of yourself, think that you're going to do this, and this, and trap, and strike. Say that, please. So now you swung down, then you swung across. So Jimmy, you got to, I'm going to pass it to the other side, trap the hand, hit, strike, redirect it, strike again, come back, hit. Nah, man, you're not doing all that. Not when this dude want to kill you. Not when this man wants to take your life. See, you ain't doing all that. You do that crap inside the dojo. Because we run a drill. We run a drill in the dojo. Quick as you can. Quick as you can. Hit a technique. Pick up your weapon and work. Kenny, how many people tried, couldn't get off faster technique? Zero. How many people? We had every rank on the floor. Every rank on the floor. Talking of a matter of like 15, 20 people. 20 people, and we had everybody from white belt to professors on the mat. You see any? You see any? Was any no, did you see no any room, of that? There was no room for no fancy technique. None of it was not even available. Couldn't do it, man. Things were like, bam, 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 bam. Too fast. Too fast. So you not gonna, on the comeback, you not gonna do this, 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 come back here, do this, take him down, no. And then he swing again, and you cross grip, break, come back over, lock, come back in, no. You're not doing none of that. You are going to die. You understand? Die if you try that crap. Only thing you need to do, stop yourself from getting stabbed in the face and blow his goddamn leg out and pull him off balance. But you see, that's way too easy to do because you're the master. Okay, being that you're the master, I hope you can master in what Kenny's gonna tell you to do. Guys, all of our content, guys, is for self-protection purposes only, yeah. only. Guys, hit that subscribe button, guys. Smash that subscribe button right now, guys. Turn on your notifications, guys. Let everyone you know about what we're doing here, guys. All the videos are for you. And ladies, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Share it with as many people as you know. Thank you very much for all your support, guys. Peace.